Before declaring himself Emperor of the French and following his coup against the Directory of the First French Republic on November 9, 1799, Napoleon Bonaparte served as First Consul of the French Republic from 1799 to 1804. This title was inspired by the Roman Republic, where a consul held the highest elected political office. Likewise, after the 1799 coup, the French Republic adopted a constitution that vested executive power in three consuls, each elected for a 10-year term. In practice, Bonaparte as First Consul wielded supreme power, overshadowing his two colleagues. He solidified his authority by declaring himself Consul for Life in 1802 and ultimately on May 18th, 1804, assumed the title of Emperor of the French as Napoleon I. Yet, given his affinity for Roman traditions, one might have expected Napoleon to adopt the title of Caesar following his tenure as consul, rather than choosing the title of Emperor upon his coronation. So why did Napoleon take the title of Emperor and not Caesar? Napoleon, like many educated individuals of the 18th century, drew extensively from ancient Rome, adopting its names, titles and symbols. The French Imperial Eagle was inspired by the Eagle Standards of the Roman Legions. The National Order of the Legion of Honor, established by Napoleon in 1802, was modelled after a Roman legion, with ranks such as legionaries, officers, commanders, and regional cohorts, culminating in a grand council. The Arc de Triomphe, commissioned in 1806 after the victory at Austerlitz, was designed by French architect Jean Charles Grand in a neoclassical style reminiscent of Roman architecture, adorned with figures from Roman mythology. The wreath of laurel, a symbol of martial victory in Rome, was worn by Napoleon at his coronation on December 2nd, 1804, echoing the tradition of crowning victorious commanders during triumphs. Napoleon's political inspiration extended beyond ancient Rome to Charlemagne, the King of the Franks, King of the Lombards, and Emperor of the Carolingian Empire, who was also an ancestor of the French kings. By drawing from Charlemagne, Napoleon positioned himself as a symbolic successor to the legendary ruler. In 1803, he commissioned a statue of Charlemagne to be placed atop a column in the centre of the Place Vendôme in Paris. This column was styled after Trajan's Column, a Roman triumphal monument in Rome that commemorates Emperor Trajan's victory in the Dacian Wars. The idea was ultimately rejected by French artist Vivant Denon, and instead, a statue of Napoleon was placed atop the column, dressed as a Roman emperor and holding a globe. In 1804, as Napoleon prepared for his coronation, he sought to gather artifacts believed to have belonged to Charlemagne. Although only a few were recovered and their authenticity was questionable, these items were nonetheless carried by officers during the coronation ceremony. Additionally, since the traditional coronation crown of Charlemagne had been destroyed during the French Revolution, a new crown referred to as the Crown of Napoleon and designed to resemble a medieval crown was placed on the altar for the occasion and was called the Crown of Charlemagne. Napoleon sought to enhance the authenticity of his newly created crown by claiming it was in fact Charlemagne's original crown. In 1804, he commissioned a study that attested to the crown's authenticity and antiquity. To bolster this narrative, the publication of the study was presented as having first occurred at the end of the Reign of Terror in 1794, suggesting that the crown miraculously survived the French Revolution. The coronation ceremony itself was more Carolingian than Roman in nature. Napoleon incorporated regalia such as a scepter, a hand of justice, and a globe, specifically the Globus Strategia, a Christian symbol of authority which the citizens of the Roman Empire symbolised the Emperor's dominion over the world or universe. This emblem is more characteristic of the Holy Roman Empire than of the French monarchy. Thus, in essence, while Napoleon appreciated Roman symbols like many of his contemporaries, he aimed to be seen as the heir to Emperor Charlemagne, a French emperor, rather than a successor to Caesar or the late Roman emperors. This has been made Jack, and if you're an emperor, please leave a comment down below.